Today is already here. Hola, como estas? It's your girl Joy. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is a weekly vlog right now. I am on my way to Target because I have to get school books. Notebooks because I'm going back to school. Don't ask me why I signed up to do this because right now I'm having like culture shock. I'm having like unexpected things happening that I was not prepared. Like the math placement test, y'all. I was this morning looking through like emails. I was also actually apartment hunting, but I was looking at New York City vlogs and I checked my email and I got an email that said I was going to have to take a math placement test and just see how I reacted. So I just found out that I have to take a math. Let me pause what I was watching because I was looking for apartments because I'm apartment hunting right now. And I was checking my email and I freaking found out that I have to take the CCNY math placement test. Listen, I could tell you where to place me. Place me in the basic every day. I'm not a special student. I just get a B to pass math. I don't need to be placed in trigonometry, geography, biochemistry, whatever other math. I don't remember nothing. Study what? And then I have to take it on Monday. By the time you see this video, it's going to be up and the time's going to pass. But literally today is Friday and I have to take it on Monday. And that's three days. Technically today don't count because today is already here. I got to take the test. Oh my God. This is too much stress. What am I supposed to study? I still got to buy books. So yeah, that was that. So I'm gonna talk to you guys more about why I'm going back to school because it's a whole lot of reasons why. But the main reason is because I wanna finish and job market right now is bad. So this is the best time to do it, you know? So right now I am going to Target to get some notebooks. I was really debating if I wanted to do my computer, if I wanted to do notebooks. Computer would be easy because it's less stuff for me to travel to because I have to do in person because the school that I'm going to doesn't have online. They have online, but they don't have online for the degree that I'm studying for. So I'm going in person. So yeah, I figured notebooks because I'm quicker when I handwrite versus typing on the computer. I don't know why when I'm listening to people and typing at the same time, I'm slow. So we're going to get notebooks. So Target was having a 20% off sale on the notebooks, which is great. So I got a bunch of notebooks and the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to like scan it on the app, you know, verify that you're a student or whatever like that. But as I'm trying to do it, it's not working. So I go to the front and I ask the guy, hey, can you honor the 20% off? Because it's not scanning for some reason. And I'll show you my ID. I'll show you my acceptance letter. That way I can get the 20% off. And he's like, oh, you have to do it in the app. So he starts trying to find it in the app and i'm like bro this is not working so we spend like 20 minutes but while we're trying to do it in the app so i could get the 20 percent off um he was like oh you're the same age as me i was thinking about going back to school too and i was like you should do it and i was just like telling him like the whole reason why i started decided to go back and like it was overwhelming and scary but like you should definitely do it because we in some trying times right now and I just like, it feels so nice to like inspire somebody to like go for it, but to end up doing that whole conversation and it's the paper, mind you, the 20% off still didn't work, right? So he ends up giving me 20% off on everything that I have. And I'm just like, thank you. Cause I'm not, I'm not I didn't just only had like notebooks. I had like, you know, lip gloss and stuff like that. So he took off 20% off that too. So yeah, like your girl got a discount on everything. 
and she was inspiring somebody so yeah so now i'm on my way to drop this stuff off and then head to barnes and nobles so i could get some work done and then after that i'm going to my first apartment showing it's like an open house and that one is going to be in harlem So I have just finished touring the first apartment of my apartment hunting journey. So technically I was supposed to go to Barnes and Nobles first and then tour the apartment around five. But the realtor told me that they had to move it up. So we rescheduled it to 3.30. So I went straight to see the apartment, which will be in another video. So subscribe if you want to see that. Get there. It's literally like 2.50 something. Y'all had me waiting for like 20 minutes and I swear to you like, these realtors in New York are disrespectful because I feel like every single realtor, broker, whoever I've had to show me the apartment has always been late. Like there's not one that's been on time since I've been like looking at apartments ever. So saw the apartment, now I am on my way to, I honestly don't know. I think I'm gonna go to Barnes and Nobles now. I was thinking about going to the Starbucks that I always go to, to like sit and get work done because my plan was to go to another open house but it's not popping up online like for some reason it's like disappeared which i don't know if it means like it's already gone or whatever but i don't want to trek to brooklyn if there's not going to be an actual open house you feel me so i think i'm going to go to either barnes and nobles or starbucks trying to weigh my options because i'm probably going to spend the whole day there um well the whole rest of the day there and get work done and i'm hungry so we need to eat food too i'm contemplating what i'm gonna do Starbucks, Barnes and Nobles. I'm gonna have to spend coins on that, or I can get something on the way, like a sandwich or something. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Good morning. It is Saturday. What time is it? It is 9.23. So this morning I am supposed to be meeting my friend to do like a little hot girl walk. She's been wanting to walk with me for a minute. I've been doing 10k steps basically this whole summer just to like boost my mood, get some exercise and really just like motivate me to like be more productive. And y'all, those 10k steps in the very beginning, it was like your girl was out and then once i got the hang of it it was like so much fun so i'm actually really happy to get back into it mainly because like i haven't done it in like three weeks i went to my best friend's wedding july 24th i believe and since i came back i haven't done a walk because the weather's been freaking crazy like literally it's been raining on and off so random days and then when i am ready to go for a walk I can't because I have other stuff I need to get done. So it's just been really weird. But I'm really happy to be doing this walk. And I'm even more happy to like get back into the gym. I feel like with me going to school, it gives me a little bit more breathing room to be able to go to the gym. Because Antoinette will be in daycare. So I'll have more of a routine going on. So I'm really excited about that. I want to challenge myself this winter also too to do the 75 hard. So, I'm going to keep you posted on that. Today, I'm going to be wearing Lotus Pear, The Seven Virtues. So, I've been seeing everybody just, like, put fragrance on when they go to the gym. I didn't know people did that. And I'm not even going to hold you. I like that. Because I like to smell good. So, I'm meeting my friend at 10. I think I want to go to Dunkin' Donuts, to be honest. Because my energy is just, like, really low. Usually, I have something to eat. And then I'll have my Celsius, but because I didn't have anything to eat, I can't really have my Celsius. Because Celsius is not one of those drinks you should drink on an empty stomach. Because the whole point of it is to, like, boost your metabolism and, like, help you to, like, lose weight and stuff. So, drinking it on an empty stomach is just, like, counterproductive. So, I think I'm going to get uh, ice caramel latte from Dunkin' Donuts. I haven't had 
any in like months. Like honestly, to think. Oh no, I'm lying. The last time I had it, well, it don't count. It don't count because it was nasty. They didn't make it right. I had it at um in PA when I went for my best friend's wedding, and it was nasty. They didn't make it right, and I actually ended up not drinking it. So yeah, it's been months since I had my caramel latte. So I wanted today, so I'm probably gonna go and get it now. That way I can already have it by the time I meet my friend. And actually, I need to check with her to see where we're meeting. Unless she's meeting me at where I usually start walking. She's on me. Alright, so I'm going to put on Antoinette's shoes, get my bag, and then we're going to head to Dunkin' Donuts. happy sunday it is sunday i just left church i'm feeling super good i'm a glowing but girl the morning that i had it was different first of all got on the wrong no i got on the right train but i got off i don't know 42nd and i missed myself so i had to do a whole bunch of turn around saw a little cute flea market i'm gonna just run it back for you I legit love how you can literally step out door no matter where you are in New York City and run into something like this like I'm literally on my way to church and there's a whole flea market farmers market like summer thing going on and it's so freaking cute oh my god picked up this soap no lie it smells so freaking cute like I'm just really obsessed oh my god tell me why literally I had this girl like I was nervous by the way so I asked the stranger hey can you record me while I'm like standing on the platform because you know we gotta get that content and after she recorded I was like thank you so much and I heard an accent and I was like oh where are you from she says Germany I'm like are you kidding me I'm learning German right now I was like oh my god can we like stay in touch you know because then I could practice with somebody you know and I'm not out here just practicing with Duolingo so I got my little drinky drink from Tucky Donuts you already know and tell me why the lady gave me a free donut and it's not donut like free donut day you know how they have those days but yeah I don't know if it's because of my pleasant smile or how you know my energy has just been I've been complimenting people all day today too I don't know this morning is just so that was my morning i ended up meeting three cool beautiful ladies it was only divinely the lord because i was by myself y'all know i'm in the era of solo things and we just doing it because we want to do it you know but i didn't i didn't expect to be a cute girly she right here she won't you know she in it her name is alex she is so cute and she from the bronx you know bx all day uh then i met tori we met i met jen 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 and y'all saw I met Jennifer, who's from Germany. And we're gonna be speaking. <laughs> That's how this morning's going, and I'm super happy. So, right now, we are heading to an art gallery in Chelsea. Alex is tagging along with me. We love a spontaneous girly. Um, we're going to see the. What she said? Kusu, Kusima? Kusima exhibit, because I can't say his first name. So that's where we're heading right now and then after that we're gonna do a little errand for alex and then we're probably gonna get a little bite to eat because you know new york prices be pricing now a little bite to eat and chill at the little island so that's what we're doing today Hey girls, so I am officially back in the house. I'm about to wash all this makeup off of my face, but it held well, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm very sad because I ended up not going to the, ooh, 
that was a lot. I didn't mean to put a lot. I ended up not going to the exhibit because the exhibit was closed. Like, I don't understand how it was closed because I got it from Secret New York City Instagram page that it was still open and I was able to check it out. Like, I was legit in awe that I couldn't go. And then, because I really wanted to go to that, it threw off my mood. From the pictures, it just looks so cool, so fun, so colorful. I love just like art exhibits that are like quirky and like really cool. There was like polka dots and infinity room. Like it featured so much stuff. So I'm really sad that unfortunately it was closed and it looked like it's been closed for a minute. So I realized why I just put my cleanser on and I didn't even take out my eyeliner. A great way to take out eyeliner, by the way, if you don't know, is Vaseline. You can either use a cotton swab or tissue paper and just like literally put it on a tissue paper and then wipe it off. I'm gonna show you. And it comes right off, which will make it easier. See, it's gone. So it makes it easier to actually like wash your face afterwards. Cause for some reason eyeliner is like the only thing that with makeup is so hard to get off. So Vaseline is the best trick to use. And I think I'm gonna end up double cleansing because yeah, it was hot today. I couldn't find my little towel, so I have to use the big towel. And I personally hate that because this is the towel I use on my body. I really personally like to have a face towel and a body towel just because my body is different from my face. Like two different types of, you know, dirt and debris and stuff. So it just makes sense. But I'm doing laundry tomorrow, so it's fine. Overall, though, I had like a really great time with Alex. Church was really, really good. I'm glad I gave this church a second chance. I really do believe like finding a church home is like investment, but it's also like listening to your spirit. Like you have to. And even if you don't have a spirit, just listen to the obvious things. Like how does the place make you feel? You know, did it touch your heart? Did you feel that pulling in your heartstrings, you know? And just that's your indicators of whether or not this is a place for you. And listen to the voice of God. That little voice that be telling you certain things and you won't be listening. Yeah, listen to it. So that wraps up this weekend's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I have a test to prep for. And I realized it's a placement test. So I really did not need to stress out as much as I was stressing out, you know. It took me a minute to realize that. But I am going to brush up just so that I can have a decent grade and get into a decent class. And then just work hard there you know it's all about perspective change it up and appreciate the little things you know thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you want to see more vlogs as well as more motivational lifestyle wellness content be sure to subscribe be sure to like this video because it helps the algorithm and be sure to comment let me know things that are going on in your life again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next vlog